This year, we launched some of the most important products in our history. This is Blackwell. Blackwell can train large language models with only a quarter of the GPUs and a quarter of the energy showcasing a 25 times reduction in cost of ownership. During NVIDIA's recent shareholder meeting, CEO Jensen Huang praised the upcoming Blackwell platform as potentially their most successful product ever. The company's stock skyrocketed by 200 percent, briefly reaching a $3 trillion valuation, making NVIDIA one of the most valuable public companies. It starts with the most advanced GPU, designed for trillion parameter scale generative AI, and our, fourth, er, and our fifth generation NVLink, which connects up to 576 Blackwell GPUs into one super GPU, up from just eight Hopper GPUs. And compared to previous generation, previous generation Hopper, Blackwell can train large language models with only a quarter of the GPUs and a quarter of the energy, showcasing a 25 times reduction in cost of ownership and energy consumption when inferencing frontier large language models. NVIDIA's offering starts with the most advanced GPU, but an AI factory is much more, combining Blackwell GPUs, NVLink, Grace CPUs, Quantum and Spectrum X switches, and a rich ecosystem of software systems, and data center partners. The Blackwell platform will be adopted by every major cloud service provider, server maker, and leading AI companies, including Amazon, Google, Meta, Microsoft, OpenAI, Tesla, and XAI. Now, we're introducing a new way to distribute AI models. We call this new capability NVIDIA Inference Microservices, or NIMS. NIMS deliver enterprise-grade, optimized generative AI that runs on CUDA everywhere, from the cloud to on-prem data centers to RTX AI PCs through our expansive network of ecosystem partners. NIMS integrate CUDA libraries, optimize inference engines, industry standard APIs, and AI model support into containers for straightforward deployment. These, com these containerized pre-trained AI in a box microservices enable enterprises across all industries to evolve into AI-driven companies. Adobe, Cadence, CrowdStrike, Getty Images, SAP, ServiceNow, Shutterstock, and others were among the first access NIMS. More than 250 technology and platform providers are embedding NIMS into their services. And in healthcare, NIMS are already powering foundation models in drug discovery, medical imaging, and genomics. The next wave of AI is set to automate the $50 trillion in heavy industries. Soon, robotics factories will orchestrate robots that build robot that build products that are robotic. We developed Omniverse, a revolutionary virtual world simulation platform where the physical and digital world converge for developers to create robotic systems. Within Omniverse, industrial companies design, integrate, simulate, and operate digital twins of robotic systems like factories, robots, and products. Omniverse is pioneering an open standard, open universal scene description format to seamlessly integrate industry-leading tools from design to manufacturing, allowing companies to create comprehensive digital twins that optimize the entire production life cycle. Self-driving cars are kind of a robot. The autom automotive industry has been an early adopter of NVIDIA Omniverse as it seeks to digitalize its entire workflow from design to build, simulation and operation, and even experience its factories and cars virtually. 
A new era of manufacturing is coming. Thousands of new and established companies are building robots and robotic systems. These companies will have two factories, one to build the physical robots and another, an AI factory, to manufacture the intelligence that drives them. Generative AI and robotics are opening new growth opportunities, as well as drive a level of new level of productivity for the $50 trillion manufacturing industries. And the rise of sovereign AI in countries like Japan, Canada, and France, among many others, is a testament to the universal recognition of the importance of developing one's own AI capabilities, adapted for each nation's language and culture. 